Yo, 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 what's good, guys? And we back at it again with another podcast. And I'm here with my little bro. Yeah, man, he he been, he been, you know, chilling for a little bit, doing his thing, you know. I'm here with Sage, Sage Mode Kid, a.k.a. Nazir the Kid, a.k.a. Uh, Big Red. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> for that one. Uh, what's good, what's good? Um, it's a pleasure to be on the podcast. How's everyone doing? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading. Yeah, so for me, we just gonna jump straight into it, man. Cause this is a, this is a a great episode. I'm literally here with my little brother, my literal little brother. And feel me, it's about to get real crazy in this bitch, man. So let's start off like this. How was your childhood? My childhood, to me personally, wasn't the best. But there were some things in the childhood that made the well made my childhood like I guess like somewhat of a childhood because you know there's a lot of people in this world that that hasn't really lived or really had a childhood in their lives. But I can say mine was like 50 50. You know I don't want to go back and redo it. Hell no. But um, it was yeah 50 50. It was pretty good. Pretty bad. You know it's life. Shit happens. Stuff happens. Yeah man. You got any stories from your childhood that you want to talk about? Um. Funny ones, sad ones, fun, happy ones, any, just any ones. Well, I got this one story I would never forget. And this story is, my fault, my story is, it was one day, I know you remember this shit. Um, this is probably the one of the last times I remember getting a beating. Um, so, I remember the day like this. I, would, I was home, bored. Feel me? I was not really doing much this day. I, I think you were out with your friends. I was just home by myself. I had met this kid, this, this randomly walking around, and he had asked me if I wanted to chill with him. I was like, you know, my mom not gonna be too, too, you know, happy about that. But why not? I ain't got nothing else better to do. I let her know I was gonna be outside anyways. So, I go to my friend's house or this kid that I just had met, and. Bro, we was playing computer games. Mind you, we were kids, so we were on the Cartoon Network website playing those fucking old games. And we were like, I forgot which game we were on, but we were playing that for like hours, hours, trying to make this thing. And before I knew it, the, like, you know, fucking, the sun had went away, sun set in, it was already getting dark, nighttime, lights, street lights was coming on. And once I noticed, I was like, yeah, I'm uh, at home. So I'm headed home, had a good day. I was, this is one of the days I actually remember feeling good. I was like, damn, I had a pretty good day. I, <laughs> I can't like, kind of like wait if we probably chill again, which again, I don't even really like, knew this kid. I just met him randomly, but yeah. And came home, I came home just in time as my mom, my brother, my little brother and my stepdad came home. And she didn't, she, all she said was, um, when you get in the house, I'm gonna beat your ass. And I was just like, huh? <laughs> what? And that's all she said. And I'm, I'm, I had to ask her because they had, I guess they had went grocery shopping or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I need help. And she's like, nah, go in the room. I'm like, all right, I already know what's coming. So I'm sitting in there already like, I ain't doing nothing wrong. I guess the only thing that was wrong was me being out a little too late, like from the streetlights or whatever. But other than that, I ain't see nothing wrong with what I did. But she came in the room. She asked me where I was at. I said I was at my friend's house. She said I was lying. I'm like, what else where I had been? Like, I'm, I was at my friend's house. And she's like, nah, you wasn't. You, you, was, you was outside. I mean, yeah, clearly I was outside, but I was at my friend's house inside. And for some reason, she didn't believe that. And she had beat me. And as she beat me, she let my older brother, a.k.a. NGB Spade, go outside. And he went to go chill with his next door neighbor, well, our next door neighbor. And... I guess from what they can hear is me screaming, oh God, oh Jesus, as I'm getting my ass beat. And I remember him coming back in after and making fun of me. We laughed about it. Well, he laughed about it. I was really just, you know, pain without enough pain. I can't get enough pain. And he, we um, had a PlayStation 2 at the time. We just loaded up Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and just played the game for the rest of the night then. But... That's like a memory I can share for you guys Because I live it every day <laughs> That shit funny as fuck I swear to god I was I was next door bro In the backyard On the porch 
we talking about something. We talking about music or fucking Lil Wayne or Drake or something. We li- we talk about some type of shit. And then all we hear is, oh, God, oh, Jesus. And the way he said Jesus was the what made us laugh, nigga. They, oh, Jesus. I'm like, yo. <laughs> but um, what's your biggest failure and what did you learn from it? Oof, my biggest failure. Um, I might not get it too deep into it, but my biggest failure in life, I would say, is not listening to the ones that actually like was trying to put me in the right direction. And you said, wait, what was the question again? Uh, what was your biggest failure? And what did you learn from it? Okay, my biggest failure, yeah, was was really not taking a taking the options or the, like make. I really taking the right opportunities to really listen to when people were trying to tell me like who was right from wrong i'm more of a like do it and learn it myself type of guy but sometimes i do wish i did just sit sit my happy ass down and listen and you know kind of like think about the, the real life consequences um yeah i regret it but also you live life but you live it, you learn so i learned from my lessons and you know try not to do these things again hopefully i stay on the right track yeah, man, because everybody has things that they have done and they regret, but they learn from the Ooh, situation. I can talk about one thing. I, <laughs> one thing I learned and that I regret: females. <laughs> nah, but on some on some real shit about it, I had came across a weird female that I should have instantly saw red flags about, and I didn't, and only because I was hungry for some food, bro. Like niggas was hungry. I just wanted some snacks but that chick ended up being crazy and turned my life upside down for a little bit but we're good on that and i learned from that learned not to deal with the shy girls they're fun they're great the coochie's good but get away run run <laughs> so for me um do you have any music on the way currently music i have not been working on any music as of late. I haven't had the right motivation or been in the right mindset for it, which probably is the right type of time I should be making music, but I don't want to be making downer music. Um, to be honest, I want to be making music that I personally feel good about and feel good making while I'm, you know, recording it and, you know, editing it and producing, like, all that. I want to, like, feel good doing it, not feel, like, in a lower space, lower mindset lower energy because i don't want to project that out to the world and also have other people feel the love and feeling like you know how i'm feeling i, I want to bring up people's energy bring up people's positive vibes and you know help out the mindset you know do something that you know we had like some some artists is trying to do like just really speak to the mind and to the soul and not just for the ears um that's also why I, i'm not really doing much like drill beats or stuff like that because like i mean that's what everybody's doing I could do it to um, to hop on the trend, hop on the wave, and get some you know exposure or this or that. But I'm not everybody else, man. I'm not gonna be doing the same things that everybody else doing. So obviously, if you want something different, I mean, yeah, come look out for my my stuff. But um, it's just it's more of a, a patience thing with me, you know. I I could be dropping music on more frequent level, but man, life, man, gotta gotta keep living. And. Oh, sorry guys for coughing me like that. There's some gas, some sherbs, right? eras of my shit like 2019 era it was a certain type of music i was making 2020 i was making a certain type of music this year i got on some type of rage type of shit and i don't even know what i'm gonna do for next year i don't want to stay on the same wave too long i always switch it up somehow i'll always try to find a way to make a new like a new con not a new concept album but like a new well yeah you can say concept album i guess right like you can say it's a concept album because no hesitation well trap card first first of all trap card was like an introduction to the mgb shit like it was me and Kari. and that's when he was still late with trippy 30 that's before he changed his name to trippy 30 and we, we previewed we did me 
me and him, it was me and his tape, and we had other people in NGB on that tape, like Sav and Jules. And, that's, and that tape did relatively well for the first tape. And I wanted to capitalize on that hype, so I dropped No Hesitations. And that was just me showing my case of how good I am on beats and that I can make good songs. And I had two, two. It was two parts to that, to that album. The first part was the bars, and the second part was the melodies. You no, know, you know how when you listen to No Hesitation, like towards the end, I start using auto tune and shit. Like no, no, I don't need her to like oh and all that shit. You you know about that shit. You love that song, so feel me. And Oxy too. Oxy was a great song. And, and yo, let's talk about Oxy, man. What? What was going through your mind when we made that song? First of all, let me tell them the backstory of how the song almost came together. I'm gonna tell them the beginning. So this man had came over to the studio one day, man, and we was chilling. We was thinking about making a song. We made two songs. We made one song, and then he just, he told me he had a pill. He had, he's I'm like what? But he said, yeah, I got an oxy. I'm like, all right, let's split that shit. Split that shit. We made one song. Well, before that shit kicked in on us The song was decent, it was alright But then when the Oxy hit kicked in We made a song called Oxy And I, and if you haven't heard the song I'll link the song in the description below That song is amazing and I was so high making that song Nigga, explain how that What your mindset When we made that song, bro My mindset when I'm gonna keep it a book with you. I'm gonna keep it a book with you, brother. Um, I wasn't really thinking at all <laughs> when I, when we made Oxy. Um, really, uh, damn, my thought process. Um, damn, I was at the time when that had happened. I had, I probably shouldn't talk about this, but I had kind of like dozed off in a sense from doing this earlier that day, like previously in the day. So when I had came over, it wasn't even like I was coming over here to for a full like a studio session. Really, I was coming to like maybe pop out, maybe get some 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 banyan, and like you know probably go about the night. But it was like you know what, why not? And as it was like you know as we did it, the first song, yeah, like it was started. I felt it kind of like settling in. But my energy, my vibe wasn't fully there. So once, like, I heard the beat for Oxy, I, I don't know, like, it just took over me in a, in a way where my mind just kind of like was just flowing on its own. And yeah, I kind of like sometimes wish I could redo it again because I want to make it better. I feel like I've like even from listening to that song myself, then from now, I still I feel like I evolved a little bit more from what I even used to sound like. So I just like like damn yo like that's a really good song, but I feel like could have been a little bit more better from my my behalf to be honest. But yeah, um, I wasn't thinking at all to be honest. Yeah, cause when I was in oxy mode, when I was making that song, bro, it was like. Like you said, that shit took over, nigga. I, I was not. I was just doing shit. I was just saying shit, and, I, and it just came out so fire. Nigga, if I had a pre, if I could preview the song for you guys, I'd definitely do it because that song's fire. But anyway, what what got you into rapping? What got me into rapping? Um, well, what really got me into music? When just say rapping, um, was surprisingly enough, my mother, our mother, um, she had a big musical like influence on me, but also like she she had a big like expand our bubble of music. She didn't just listen to one genre; she listened to all types of different music. So just kind of just like growing up and listening to her like play like all these different kinds of musics and like different kinds of sounds it always kind of like intrigued me and it intrigued me in a way to like i was like you know i kind of always wanted to like learn how to do this or learn like like learn how to get into it but i never kind of fully pursued it and all the time as i was younger whenever i had time to really be by myself and was alone i always found myself kind of like freestyle and singing to myself it started off with me singing to myself and then as time kind of went on 
um, I started to listen to a little bit more rap getting into um, it was I was in middle school actually I was just maybe what hitting the seventh grade where I started like freestyling a little bit and playing around with it and doing it with my boys and putting them on um, honestly I don't know like I would say like X and Juice really played a big influence on me and wanted to make music like just seeing how X like how he like how he took over and how he was carrying and holding it down that was just like that was very inspirational and just how like at that time too I had my own little clique we was gonna like do we was all gonna do our own thing with the music and just like kind of like try to just come up with it but that ended up kind of like falling out and then like as X had died um kind of was like that shit was weird to be honest because I still I remember the day how I felt when I had happened like the energy and the in the world like to me like that day was just so distorted like I remember just one just not wanting to be bothered at all and then my dad had told me he's like yo I think your boy like takes that pass and I was like hey what show me the article but when I had started listening to Juice Juice World and seeing how like how he was like was making music and how he was just freestyling and just having fun and just like doing this like it was nothing kind of like really like started pushing me more into the music but also another thing that i always kind of had that was influence or was, was a big influence on me too was ngb spade he always believe it or not was doing something with music all the time like I remember him playing the trombone, the flute, like, he was always doing musical shit. Saxophone. Um, there would be times where we, when we was getting dropped off from the school bus where him and his friends would start freestyling on the way home. And, you know, sometimes here and there, he would kind of, like, try to, like, bring me in and hype me up. But I was, like, kind of, like, shy as a kid and just was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to say something stupid. I don't want to, like, I don't want to fuck this up or get made fun of. So I never really, like... <laughs> supersonic speed i barely remember that but um yeah there was this one time where i had got the the courage to just say fuck it and i had like freestyle with them real quick and i guess it was actually some like some some good stuff from a kid and they all kind of liked it and i was like okay i, I like this feeling <laughs> and from there yeah kind of like just always watching you always like make music and how you went about making music and how you like just be freestyling the show off your dome like I was just like, yo, like, that's crazy. Like, every time someone's been around me and was like, yo, you're really good. Like, oh, you could do something with this. Or, like, you know, like, we like what you're doing or whatever. And I'm just like, nah, man. If, like, I'm nothing compared to what, like, you know, my brother is. And that's those are really the things that also really played a big influence on in me to why, like, I, I'm into music. That makes a lot of sense, too, feel me? Because mommy definitely played a lot of my influence of music early on, too. Don't forget, she was playing Lil Wayne a lot. And Lil Wayne was one of my favorite rappers of all time. He's on my top five. If you niggas watch my um, if you guys watch my um last podcast, my first podcast with Janai, then you already know my top five: uh, Big L, Lil Wayne, Wiz Khalifa, K. Cuddy, and um, I forgot what the last person is. Let me pull it up. I got my I got my book right here. I gotta, I gotta look. <laughs> gotta pull up the receipts, man. Cause feel me, I got a lot of shit, man. Oh yeah, I said Wiz Khalifa. Oh Future, I forgot Future. Future was the last person. Damn, I lost the questions that I was just asking you. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Um. So this is this is a good question. I know you might like this one. If you could play only one game forever, what game would you choose? Well, if I can play one game forever, what would that be? Yikes! I play a lot of games. Um, I don't think I could choose this one. <laughs> when you walk away, um, it'd probably be Kingdom Hearts. Um, or um. Smash Brothers, Kingdom Hearts, Smash Brothers, Dragon Ball Fighter. There are a lot of games that I could choose from right now, but I might choose Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 just because I want to play that game very much so, so I'll choose that game. You know they got Budokai Tenkaichi 4 online? 
we got all the characters from Super. It technically is a mod, but it's not. It's not a mod. It's like a extension. Cause they have, like I swear to God, bro, when I was watching some gameplay footage of that shit, even the moves, they, nigga, not everybody has the same. Like it's not. Oh, Goku, if he's Goku Super Saiyan Blue, he just got Super Saiyan moves. No, he got his own moves, nigga, and they make they made moves for the character. Bro, I swear to God. Man, they not doing that shit, man. You know they not doing that shit. If they did that shit, that they would have made my money, though. It would have been the, probably the best game of 2020. Yeah, they, they're making a whole, a whole game right now. Um, Dragon Ball. They're doing a game like Dead by Daylight. You know that game? Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, it looked garbage. Garbage! Anyway, speaking of garbage games, if you could choose one game to eliminate off this earth... What game would you choose? Apex. Apex? Apex. Why? Fuck them battle royales, yo. So fuck Fortnite too? Fuck them battle royales, yo. Fuck Fortnite? Fuck them battle royales. Fuck the ball, bro. I hate, yo, bro. The funny thing is, yeah, you may catch me on Fortnite, but I hate that game most of all. Like, I didn't play that game for years until, like, there was this dude, like, my, there was this, like, my ex. Fuck it. He was like Loki living together for some on some type of shit for a while, and he bugged me every day to hop on this fucking game. Like, yo, you gonna hop on Fort? Yo, you gonna hop on Fort? And I was like, like, bro, I don't play that game. Like, I told you several times, I don't care to play it. Like, I downloaded it so you can shut up, but I guess I didn't really make you shut up. <laughs> so I ended up hopping on it. And you just, the funny thing is, this man bugged me for so long to play it. I never even played with him. Never. I played with him a few times. I told him how shit he was and really was like, yo, bro, like, I may be new to this game, but I can pull my weight. What are you doing? And from there, we never played again. And, you know, I met other people to play with. But, yeah, that game, I still hate it to this day, to be honest. They just keep adding stuff into the game that I end up liking. Like, the season they got Spider-Man, I was like, alright, fuck it. I guess they'll get my money, but it hasn't really been my money. It's just been being gifted to me. So, am I really wasting money? Um, not really, because it's not me, so. I feel like you're wasting money. I've had this money before. I ain't gonna hold. I've, I've wasted some money before on that game, but to this day, I have. No, I regret it. I regret it. That's something I regret. We could put that up there. Wasted money on Fortnite. So, yeah. What you learn from wasting money on Fortnite? Nah, don't answer that. <laughs> it ain't, bro, it ain't even worth it, bro. Just go, just go as a no skin and just go off. Real shit, fuck it. Be a no skin as sweat, sweat, sweater. Be a no skin sweater, that's what you need to do. But yeah, man. So lately, I know you probably don't want to talk about this. But it's on the notes, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask you it if you don't want to talk about it. We can skip it. But I really want you to talk about this. Let's talk about fatherhood. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know why the fuck you wrote this down at all. <laughs> wanted to talk about Yo. it. All right, shout out to Kurt Cobain because tequila's good. <laughs> That's what you gotta say about that. He said they asked him how's father. He said I love tequila. I love tequila. Or I love vodka. He said something. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> well, here, I'll say this. I'll say this. Um, truthfully and honestly, I love it. Um, it's not hard. It comes with a lot of patience, and if you don't have that, then like I would really think twice about doing anything about that. But it's really all a patience thing, and when you learn to have the patience and learn to accept what life is coming for you when you get into this shit, hey, it's gonna be the easiest thing you've ever done. And like once you have that love for that for for your kid and shit, bro, it's like life has never been easier. Yeah, bro. Like honestly, I'll tell you this too. Like. For me personally, I don't know if it's like this for any other parent, but like the first time I heard her cry, that shit replays in my head all the time. 
and i'm like not gonna lie i even hear it when i don't even have my kid like i could be chilling in my living room smoking and just because i'm doing that thinking that she'll like because i'll probably like i'll go out of my room to smoke because you know i'm not gonna smoke in my fucking room with my kid of course not yeah but feel me um i will like whenever i hear her cry like i just i'll damn near throw my whole blunt on the floor set my house on fire type shit go make sure she's good like i dip quick but nah like when i'm chilling by myself just vibing like i would still hear her cry and think that like she's around even though she's like not even around me like it's the craziest thing but that's all like just you know being a caring parent and like wanting to always make sure your child's okay so honestly um period is good um since you talked about that what's one thing you would wish you'd known before becoming a father that they're like i knew before in a sense that they were that they're fucking money but um that shit would take all almost all your bread if you don't got insurance to have a kid um i didn't know like right after you have a kid you got to pay a bill that's one thing i didn't know um if i would have known that i would have been way much more prepared but then even though i had it all settled and everything was covered but like that shit was quite a surprise like what i i gotta pay for all this like <laughs> hello this uh, this this is like uh, nigga we just bred life like what do you mean i gotta pay for this yeah y'all, y'all niggas y'all niggas was so happy and up all our asses but then but then it's like money like it's crazy what money could do to the world it's a good thing i don't really give a fuck about it but um yeah um there there are a few things too like uh what else what else what else Mm, i don't know (laughs) i don't i actually never mind i don't know uh mine's is fucking you're gonna you get used get ready to be hearing like the same old lullabies or like sesame street or like trolls or stuff like that get ready to hear the same old same old and stuff like that because there are gonna be certain things that like for me and like my my kid only likes a hand like to like to watch like to watch a handful of things like she likes expand but if it's not something that's considered as elmo as of right now she does not care like she hears elmo and literally her bro just stops like moving like she just doesn't care but um yeah, my, my child is intel- very intelligent, so I would probably say not letting her really, like, spectate me doing things because this this, this little girl's moving, bro. Moving. Yeah, man. I know we just talked about fatherhood, but we about to go crazy on this next topic, bro. Let's talk about drugs, man. Yeah. No, no drug stories, because I, I want to save that for last. At the end of every podcast, I ask my whoever I got with me, I ask them how high, like, do they have any high stories where it was it's funny as fuck or where it's just too, where they was too high or whatever, too drunk and too fucked up in any way. But right now, I got a couple things about drugs I want to talk about. Um, let's talk about, first of all, name all the drugs you tried. I'm going to keep it a stack. I can't remember all the drugs I've tried. Um, I know it, it hasn't been in between of we what we called cocaine and heroin, so we haven't done those. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 that answer I can't answer. I, that question I can't answer to. <laughs> All right. Um, if you would have answered, I would have answered along with you, bro. I was gonna say the same. You don't want to just list a couple. What's your favorite drug? What's the favorite drug you like the most? Acid. Okay, and why? Because when I take acid, um, my mind feels a whole lot more heightened. Like, I feel like a, like a way much more, like, you know how in the Marvel comics we got fucking Hogg and then Professor Hawk type shit? I feel like Professor Hawk. Like, I don't know. I feel like way much more better. My spirits is up. Um, I don't know. Like, feeling, yo, all right, all right. No, I'm lying. Feeling the energy and the auras and stuff like that around you and meditating while you're off acid and just, I don't know, like being in that spiritual realm is something different. And once you like have the under, well, somewhat of an understanding of it or like, you know, you like know how to control it or make sure you're okay or whatever, like keep your mind all right, um, you'll be fine. But truthfully, my favorite drug would be acid and that's going to stand for until I die. Okay, so what about the least favorite drug? 
favorite drug I like would probably that I've done would probably be Zans or Perks, which is crazy because I would do Zans or Perks like it's nothing. So what the fuck's wrong with me? I guess I'm a hypocrite. But um, nah, just how on like how that shit be making you feel sometimes, yo, like. I hate that shit Like I remember when I really used to do Zans and shit like that I used to really look at myself in the mirror Like bro like I hate this fucking shit But I cannot stop Like Shit's crazy Like I really fucking Like I just Hate sometimes Like knowing the feeling of that shit And sometimes like me personally I hate feeling like I can't Like Couldn't like yo, bro, Like sometimes yo, Zans literally just put me to sleep And I can't even like control my body Like I can't Like I, I can fight it But bro I before I know it, I'm, I'm knocked the fuck out, and I don't, know, I, I don't like feeling hopeless, or like feeling like I can't do what I want to do, so, yeah, I don't, I don't like those drugs, but I'll still do them. Um, why did you even try drugs in the first place? I tried drugs in the first place because I wanted to get rid of all the pain, and all the suffering, all the sadness, everything that I've felt since I was a kid. I never really could like, yeah, the question was earlier, how was your childhood? And I can say 50-50, but all from what I could really remember is all the shit times. And I get kind of glimmers and like slight, like glim- like glimpses of the like happy stuff, but like I literally only know nothing but pain, sorrow and sadness and just anger and rage. And that's why I wanted to just like, that's why I got into drugs in the first place Because once I started doing it It started helping me numb everything that I was feeling and thinking about And I wasn't thinking So once I realized I wasn't feeling anything or thinking about anything I just kept doing it And I almost went down a spiral when I couldn't, where I couldn't get myself back from It took a lot of mental fighting And just really trying to push myself and tell myself like, This is not what I really want to do Well, with myself right now And from that kind of like brought me back from really doing that show that's a mad like low-key like quit doing drugs and shit for a little bit but um yeah no nah, that was really my reason of just starting and just yeah i just really want to just make everything go away every little thing that i felt that's been building up for so many years i just wanted it all gone yeah man because when i first when i tried well, first thing i ever did I, I before i smoked i drank I don't know, man. When I first started drinking, I was kind of an alcoholic and fiend. Because whenever there was alcohol, I would drink it. And I wouldn't even pace myself. I would just drink that shit like water or juice just so I could get fucked up fast as fuck. Oh, I'm, Nigga. Sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I got the clip. Kurt Cobain. I ain't going to blast y'all shit, but I'm going to turn it to a point. You like vodka? Vodka? Yes, I love vodka. Yeah. He was a house father. He was like, vodka? Yes, I love vodka. <laughs> so for me Yeah I was about to say I started I drank I was drinking like an alky And then I was just one time I threw up In the bed down here And I slept And I passed out right inside To throw up <laughs> And I woke up And I went home And then I was still drunk And my I know me my knew I was drunk Cause she asked me, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, man." <laughs> Yo, I got a funny story. Uh, let's before we do the stories about fucked up stories, let's name some f- top fives, man. Let's do top fives, like we in the segments. So, top five rappers. Damn, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna keep it a book with you. I can't even name top five rappers though, that I like. I can't. Yo, I'm like on some for real shit. I don't even be really knowing the names of like like not that I don't acknowledge it or like or nothing, but I really just can't fucking remember unless like it's in like my shit. Like if not, then I won't. But um, top five: Cuddy, Juice, X. Um, I I know there should be like more people up here or some other people up here that I really like like, but I just for some reason can't get my picture. On. Ooh, I put JID up there. Um, um, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else, um, how many was that, was that, that four. I, I, I need one more, I, I felt it, um, who can I just say, you name four, I name four, um, damn, that's crazy, <laughs> um, 
gonna roll the next blunt? Um, no. Damn. You gonna roll it right now? No. Damn. Um, <laughs> I'll probably say either ski. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just leave it as ski. I don't know. All right, top five TV shows. Oh my god. Um, I don't even watch TV, my nigga. Uh, I liked Arrow for when it was out until season three, really, but I still watched it until it finished. Uh, what else? Mm, regular show. Hold on. Amazing World of Gumball. Why? Because these shows carried Cartoon Network. Um, especially the regular show. Come at me if you got a, if you got another answer. Um, what, what, what's another show I liked growing up as a kid? I guess I could say. Um, uh, fuck it. We gonna have to go with the Sponge D Bop Bop. Um, how many is that anymore? more? Ben 10. I almost forgot. That was my nigga back in the day when I was a kid. Alright, man. I know this one could be a little more harder. Top 5 movies. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is gonna be top 1. Um, Night of the Demons, for some reason, is gonna be up there. Why? Because it's, it's up there. <laughs> I think it, I've been trying to show Jules that movie for 5 years now. Every October, every... Every time I put that on, when we get to the pussy part, when she said the lipstick on her pussy, bro, they turn that shit off. <laughs> and they don't even get to the ending, nigga. We didn't... But where I want to turn it off every time I watch the movie, the pussy part makes me go, what the fuck? But like, bro, if you, y'all niggas ever watch the end of the demons, I, I would, I would suggest it if y'all want to go watch it, but there is, if you are like maybe under the age, if, you, if you're under the age of any of these numbers, what the fuck are you? Awesome. Yeah, my, my 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 settings on YouTube is literally not for kids. So y'all niggas, it shouldn't even be on here. This whole thing is for 18 and up. And the funny thing is, I ain't watched this when I was 18. I was legit sitting on my couch watching this shit. But um, there was this there was a sex scene where they're both. Uh, spoiler alert too. Um, just know if you don't want to hear it, skip a little bit of ahead. But there's a scene in the movie where um, these two demons have sex, and the, there's fucking worms and shit everywhere. Um, but literally before the scene starts, she goes, "Oh, you're you're putting it in the wrong hole." And then the, the demon said, "Fuck it, I don't give a fuck." And then she turned into a demon, and then demon things had happened, and that maybe I can say the orgy in the movie too with all the other demons is not it, but that was. That sex scene was kind of like, what the fuck? Um, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, that's kind of early on in the movie, too. That's like, because feel me, spoiler alert, I'm about to, we just talking about this movie now. Spoiler alert, when you watch it, in the beginning, the, they go downstairs, well, first of all, in the beginning, they have a party, and then the cops come, and they shut the party down, and the bitches and her friends, the bitch and the, her friends are there, you know, whatever, whatever. They go downstairs, because the dude left drugs in the, um, and they went downstairs They went downstairs to get the drugs And then the bitch seen a gold tooth on one of the skeletons Mind you, there's four or six skeletons or some shit Five or six skeletons Five or four skeletons in a circle And she seen a gold tooth on one of them she tried to fucking get it And then the skeleton bit her And when it bit her, it turned her into a demon So when she turned into a demon She just wanted to turn everybody else into a demon So first, she did, first thing she did was kiss the nigga on, and um, spin the bottle And then when she kissed him He got infected with the demon shit So his girl brought him into the room Or whatever Like See, Oh you know why you be around her da, da, da. And then they start having sex or whatever And then while this nigga turning into a demon He just What Nas said That's what happened <laughs> Basically And then they both turned into demons That movie crazy as fuck man 39 minutes in I wanted to do what you rather. Hangover Spider Man. Um, Hangover Spider Man and and then and, and Shang Chi because why not? It was a pretty good movie that came out recently. Yeah. All right. So for me, top five video games. Sheesh. Um, Naruto's been just number four. Dragon Ball Fighters. Jack and Dex Daxter. Uh, I don't fucking know. I play a bunch of games. Um. I said Dragon Ball Fighters already. Dragon Ball Z Blue, that's in IG3 because I mentioned it earlier. And, um, 
I don't know. I don't have one. I don't have another one. Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. Say just say Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I could have just said Kingdom Hearts. I don't know why I didn't put Kingdom Hearts up there. Let's take off Booty Gang G3, put Kingdom Hearts, and then Smash Brothers. Okay. So now we're gonna get into the next segment. Would you rather? I already asked a couple of these questions to my uh, preview guests, so I'm not gonna ask the same exact questions. I'm gonna just say a couple of the ones that I didn't say in the first episode. So we're gonna start off with the funny ones. Would you rather be punched in the face by Mike Tyson or punch a toddler in the face while in front of thousands of people? Damn, I'm gonna keep it a book with you right now. If I get punched in my face on one side of my face, Mike Tyson is gonna completely blow out my jaw. So, um, I don't know about that. So I might pull out what, what was the name of that movie with Will Ferrell and this fat dude where he they were both trying to be like, I guess like not presidents or whatever but they want to be like something and this nigga punched a baby in front of mad people but i i guess i'm punching the shit out of a fucking baby because mike tyson's gonna uh, a toddler i'm i'm punching the fuck out that toddler my nigga and um i guess everyone's gonna see know me for punching a toddler because if i if i take a blow from mike tyson whatever the fuck i get out of it ain't gonna be good and whatever i get out of punching the toddler won't be good but at least I won't be in a hospital bed, I guess, unless someone beats the shit out of me. Unless I get jumped in the minute I hit this kid. But, yeah, I, I, I take that over Mike Tyson. I think any of you would choose something else over Mike Tyson. Nah, because Janai said he picked Mike, um, get punched by Mike Tyson. Your word? Listen, he don't, he don't got a fucked up jaw, that's why. <laughs> I already know if I take a, a two-piece combo from Mike, Bro, might go under, come up, bro. It's over with. <laughs> get stabbed in the stomach ten times or get shot in both kneecaps. I'm getting stabbed. I'm getting stabbed. I'm getting stabbed. Within that, I, I, I'm pretty sure I can like. I don't know. I maybe, maybe I can because that, no matter what, I gotta get stabbed ten times for this to be happening. But fuck it, hell Ben. Hopefully, I know I could just lay there and not fully just fucking pass on a pool of blood. Then fucking having my knees get fucking shot out and then having to be in a wheelchair and I can't walk, bro. Like, nah, I'm good, bro. I, I'd rather be able to, like, I'd rather probably not live the rest of my days and then having to be in a wheelchair. I'm keeping a book. If I'm in a wheelchair, I'm going to just end it myself. All right. Would you rather be known as a racist or a sexist? I am a racist already. I hate all races equally. I'm I'm not just racist. Hold on, wait. I I hate all races equally, but I love everyone too. But it's like you know, so sexist. I guess I'd rather be sexist in a way, yeah. Hey, pops. You got roaches. Man, after Stampede is in the building. Um. Thank you, cause we needed this bud. Thank you. Is there front in here? Nah, we gonna have to re-roll. Nah, I, I'm. Thanks for the front, the pre-roll, but I'm re-rolling it, cause there's no front in it. Yeah. But feel me? Yeah. You did. But um. Cool, my G's. Cool. Nah, bro. Just see, I don't. This, this, that time of time, I don't be outside. But like, I had to do this real quick. Yeah. Let's let's finish this up real quick. Um, let's go. Um, I, you said racist or sexist? Which you said racist, right? I said I'm racist, wait, 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 We doing the would you rather segment? Wait, hold on. Wait, go two questions back and include me after his answer with this one. Okay. The yeah. one, the one before this was be. Oh, would you rather be stabbed ten times or be shot in both kneecaps? Um, wait. What's the question? Stab ten times or shot in both kneecaps? Stab ten times. All right. <laughs> Do yeah, I want to I want to know why, but are you going to say why? Yeah, I, I could answer, I could definitely answer that shit because if you tell me you're going to stab me 10 times, I'd rather take a stab in more than definitely knowing both my kneecaps are gone, knowing I can can't no more it's going to be hard to reset walking with kneecaps. They can medically fix it, but I would rather not go that route. If you stab me 10 times, I'm taking that. Because nobody discussed about where I'm going to get stabbed 10 times at. Remember, my left hand is already missing. So if you stab me 10 times with the left hand, I've already been through the pain. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Yeah, see, he, you can stab me in my pinky 10 times. 
Um, so the the ne- the next one before that was would you rather be racist or sexist? No, I'd rather. If you're asking me, would I rather be racist or sexist? Like me, I talk a certain way already. I watch movies from the '30s and cowboy movies, and fucking, I talk straight gentlemanly era shit. I got it. Oh, you got it. So, so I'd rather be racist. I hope, no, but even me talking now, it doesn't give a fuck. I talk straight, so it doesn't matter what the fuck you want to describe. Whatever you want to describe, it. I'm gonna say what I gotta say. I'm gonna listen to what you got to say. But guess what? I'm, I, to be here, here's the here's here's the thing of the decision of my choice, of my choice of my decision. However you say it. I'd rather be racist more than sexist. Listen, I love women, but the thing for me to choose sexist in this society means to detail that I'm wrongfully talking to women, which is not a thing. What's wrong with the world is that men don't know men and women don't what it means to be women by definition. There's a lot of social angst and political conversations designed in that. But when you get back to nature, men is men and women is women. Simple as that. Girl, girl, boy, boy, simple. Now, to be racist, I'm Talk how I talk, you talk how you talk. As long as we're both willing to listen and not wait for our turn to talk, listen. I'm gonna have to speed it up. All right, all right, all right. Next one, next one, because we gotta. I'm trying to keep this out, this, uh, this episode to an hour. We're already like 46 minutes. Left. So, next question. Would you rather always know when somebody is lying, or would you rather always get away? I know the answers to this already. Um, I already know when people are lying to me because I can read energies and feel auras and stuff like that. It's pretty easy. I can I can play the game. You can lie to me. I'm gonna obviously play the game right back in your face. I'm not stupid. Um, and I know how to lie and get away with it too. But um. I guess I would like I would I would like to fucking know when you're like fully lying to me and not just having the assumption in my brain or like assuming you know I want if you're gonna like that I just lie to me if and I like know it I'm just gonna be like all right man good job you know and just go about my day to be honest. All right, so for me, would you rather? Would you rather be stupid with a brilliant kid or be brilliant with a stupid kid? I'm already stupid with a brilliant kid, so let's go. You're not stupid, not even if you care for fucking last kid. So I, <laughs> I know. I. I don't think my. I don't think of myself as intelligent as I am, or as I. I can appear across, but I already know my child is. She's advanced for her age right now, and I can't wait to see where she just goes with herself in the future. I already know I'm gonna do what I need to do to make sure she can, she knows how to handle herself well, but but I I can't wait. <laughs> so we done with those segments with the top fives. Would you rather? Now we about to get into the stories that we the high stories, the drunk stories. I know, man, but we can we can we can we got we got some three stories. So that's the thing. If it's a minute and a cu- an hour and a couple minutes, it's straight. I could cut one short. I could cut one short. Feel me? Get in here. I could tell you a story right now. Oh, um, yeah. What happened? That, that, I just heard a ch- Oh, like, shit. Loud that was shit. my fault. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, um, as I said, I could tell you a story right now. Um, fucking. So, I was over here, actually. And, um,. My brother went upstairs to go fucking make some food for me because I was hungry as fuck. So he went upstairs to go make me some food. I took a couple more pills as he went up. And as I was kind of sitting there, I dealt, I dazed off. But by dazed off, I low-key, like, damn near died. And I had to, like, 
fucking fight with myself mentally to come back. And as I did, I came back upstairs just in time for my brother to be like, yo, I was gonna like come down to make sure you was alright because you've been down here for a minute. And I was just like, yeah, man, I'm good. But in reality, in my mind, I was like, nah, man, I'm fucked. I need help. But it's straight. Oh, uh, next one. Um, my next one would be when I was with my baby mother. All right, bet when I was with my baby mother and our old friend, we was we was doing um stuff with each other. Damn there. Uh, we was doing. We was doing oxys, ecstasy, zans. Think something else, I'm not mistaken. All together, and fucking, <laughs> they like. I started my day before them. Like I woke up, I wrote up, I sparked it a little bit because they were like sleep. But I smoked and like I ate a little bit, and I, I already popped two. I popped the Zen and I popped the Oxy, and I was just like. <laughs> and I, I was laying back and I kind of went back to sleep and I woke up to them like going oh I see you have wrote up or whatever so let's kind of like get it going and I was like alright bet and it was like yo you popping cause we about to pop and I was like yo I mean I'll pop what y'all popping and my girl said she was popping the, the oxy or I think it was the ecstasy and yeah cause I think we took ecstasy so we did that and fucking, I had all of these shits mixed up too, which was crazy. I'm not sure. I really can't, can't remember, but I do remember like dazing off in the bed. She was asking me like, "Yo, are you good?" And I told her straight like I was, but yo, bro, I was laying in that fan, like water, water. I need it, bro. Nigga, they fucking mentioned food. And I was stuck in the bed, dying, sleep. Uh, another story. Um, yo, so I took three, four and a half Zans before I went to school, high school. Um, and I was in class, and <laughs> I put my head down because I already finished my work. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just put my head down real quick, put in my headphones. I slept three periods away. No one moved me. And then when I got to fucking lunch, I just got to lunch. Everyone thought I was high off like smoking, but I was high off of something else. And when I mean I looked like a complete zombie, I was just out of it. And we also had fucking. No, 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 that's another story. That's another story, bro. Uh, tell me why I fucking popped some Zans. I think while we had. Was it midterms? I think it was midterms or some shit like that. We had testing. And, bro, I took one test, my nigga. Got out. Saw a group of my friends. Because we, like, had to, like, you know, talk quick and then go to class. Saw a group of my friends. I dapped up this nigga. Killer. Killer Cloud. I dapped up this nigga. We started talking for a minute. As I finished dapping him up, I fall. In front of everybody. I just fall. Blackout. Nigga carries me home. I wake up to mad niggas in my room. I'm like, yo, I woke up, I'm like, yo, why are y'all in my room, like, in my house? Who let y'all in? And my boy, the cloud was like, yo, I opened the door, and they kind of like, yo, just walked in. I'm like, kind of just walked in. I got a whole crowd looking at me like, what, what's going on? And they had put me on. They was like, yo, you, like, passed out while you was at school and shit. And we had carried you home. Show me the video of niggas really holding me on, on his back. I'm looking like Itachi. Like, bro, he's looking like Itachi. And I'm Sasuke asleep on his back. Like, I don't know how he did it, but I was really out. And, yeah, that, that's four stories. I want to tell you one story when I was high as fuck off pills in school. I think it was Zans too, bro. But it wasn't just the white ones. It was either the yellow ones or the green ones, bro. I think it was the green ones, bro. You know the green Zans, the Hawks, the green Hawks. I swear to God, bro. I had like two of them shits, right? Broke them shits in half. Broke both of them shits in half, right? So 
before I go to school, I smoke two blunts. I smoke one blunt before I go to school, get there, smoke a blunt before I go in, go in, da da da, go to first period, go to second period. Second period ending, I pop the first half. Third period ending, I pop the third, the second half. Uh, fourth period, and then lunch, I pop one another half. And then I swear to God, after lunch, fifth period, sixth period, I have one more half left. I put my head down in class. I'm in fifth or sixth period or some shit like that. Put my head down, bro. Oh no, I swear to no, I went to the bathroom, popped the last half. I swear to God, bro, I went to went back into the class, bro. Put my head down. I swear to God, like just like this. Put my head back up Everybody gone My grandmother there The security there The teacher there I'm like What's going on You sleep here For three hours <laughs> Word of everything I was sit, I was in that class For the other For the next two periods When the next two classes Came in that class I was in there I did, And then Everybody went home Swear to God, they called my grandmother. <laughs> she came. It was, I swear to God, bro, it was like four o'clock. It was four o'clock, nigga. I was gone. I was still high when I woke up, nigga. I woke up. I like, I swear to God, I didn't even know I, I blacked out. I, I thought I had my head down. I thought I, I just, because when I looked up and everybody was gone, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I thought I was dreaming or some shit. Like, I thought I would put my head down and put my head up and I'm in my own dream or some sleep paralysis type shit. Everybody gone. My grandmother right there, the security right there. We drive home. I get home. High as fuck. Tried to smoke another blunt. Couldn't even finish it, bro. Swear to God, I smoked the blunt and went back to sleep. I didn't even smoke half of it. I smoked like a quarter of the blunt and went right back to sleep. That shit kicked right back in. But yeah, man, that was a good episode, man. I'm gonna have to close this one out. You got anything you want to say to the audience before we close this? Yeah, I got one thing to say to the audience. Um, I got a question back to um something about the fatherhood shit. You gonna have back pain? You gonna be feeling like you a 38 year old man? And I'm not even that old. Have a good day. Be blessed. Stay safe. Mwah. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for listening, guys. I want you. <coughs> shit. This dude. Sorry, it was a horrible cough too. That, that, was, that was a hard, yeah. That shit just came out of nowhere. But thank you guys for listening, man. I want you guys to like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified for all the clips and full episodes. Um, um, this episode I don't even know when this episode gonna come out. It probably might be next month. We in December right now. It's December next we're recording this, but this this episode not gonna be posted this month probably next month so i want you i want to i want to say this have i hope you guys have a great new year because it's gonna it's gonna be the new year when this episode come out have a great new year do what you gotta do to better yourself and yeah peace out my people stay safe out there